Today we got Soy Perk. Sorry. Today we got Why Must I Be a Crustacean in Love, which is obviously about Soy Perk. I'm excited. Soy Perk is, he's a very lovable character. You know, he doesn't, he does some pretty hilarious things whenever he's in a scene. I really love his character. So far, we haven't really seen Zoidberg too much in comparison to the rest of the cast. But this episode will probably be the first of many where we get to see Zoidberg pushed into the forefront of the plot. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Should I react to The Simpsons? Because The Sim... Okay. The Simpsons is the longest TV show. It's one of the longest TV shows of all time. And I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. I think it's still... It's still ongoing, right? I don't think it's going to end. But... If you... You know what? I'll, I'll put a poll... I'll put a poll up on OnlyFans. Yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll put a poll up. To see. Like, specifically for the future of fans. I want to ask... Each, <laughs> I want to ask, <laughs> paying homage to the last episode, I want to ask each, uh, you know, each of my, like, audiences for the shows that I react to, which show you guys want me to react to after that show is done. You know, like, for when Friends is finished, when what do you guys want me to react to next, when Futurama is finished? But I will ask that after like i'm halfway through each show so once i'm at season five for friends once i'm at probably season four for futurama i'll make a poll you know i'll do some research on shows that are similar and i will react to the one that receives the most votes until then let's get back into this episode uh, uh, um. Look at you guys. No offense, Fry, but you've become a fat sack of crap. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. She really said no offense. No offense, but you fat, bro. Like, you fat sack of crap. What? How do you say that, but also say no offense? More naked people every episode. Looks like Zoidberg's finally coming out of his shell. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> He's coming out of <laughs> <laughs> Zoidberg. Ah, much oh. better. You can take off these rubber bands now. I'll do it. Amy! <laughs> we, by which I mean you, will have to rush him to his ancient homeworld, which will shortly erupt in an orgy of invertebrate sex. Oh! Because tomorrow I will be depositing my jelly in the cloacal vents of a female. <laughs> What's the point? Ugh. I'm sorry, Zoidberg. You're just an inferior male specimen. Nice Ooh. seeing you again. Oh, and then she... Oh. Oh. The pain. It's all so complicated with the flowers and the romance and the lies upon lies. Don't worry. The love meister will take you under his wing. It's crazy, but... When you talk this way, your obvious deficiencies as a male seem less obvious. It's just that Fry's been telling him what to say, and Fry's a... Do you have idiots on your planet, Fry? Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. We're 13 minutes in. It is now 6.57. I don't... Can Zoidberg species, can they be attracted to other species? You think she'll, you think she'll want, you'll think she'll, ah, I don't know. Cause what if she becomes attracted to Fry? Zoidberg. Uh, I couldn't stand it any longer. I. <laughs> Fry. Come on, man. He wasn't even trying. He was trying to resist. Been years since medical school. So remind me, disemboweling in your species, fatal or non-fatal? Fatal. Large bet on myself in round one. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Oh, that was actually kind of cold. One reason. You bastard! I'll kill you! Why would he do that? <laughs> He's really beating him with the arm. Why did I knew? I knew that was gonna happen. I don't know how. I just felt it. Ugh. That's so sick. Once my species passes on its genes, it dies. Tough call. Dude, you should have never been trying. I see why people enjoy this. Why people say this is their favorite show or favorite animated series. I could really rewatch this so many times and never get bored, I feel like. This is really that show, man. First off, I was completely taken, taken back by uh, Edna falling for Fry because those were, like Zoidberg's works were actually fries. And what he was saying, it was nothing special, but I guess to their species, it was, it was definitely special. But for her to fall for a different species, I, I don't know, but maybe by then we'll understand a bit more as far as like space goes, other planets. Cause I don't know, there are so many planets in this, in the universe. So many different planets. Are we really the only planet that has intelligent life forms? It's kind of hard to believe. Like, I, I almost wish there were more, like, that we knew more about all these other planets, you know, in the universe. I wonder if there will ever come a time to where, you know, it can be like Futurama and we can have friends that are other species. You know, we can have robots that are intelligent as our friends. We can have, you know, giant crustacean creatures as our friends. You know, I, it'll be pretty interesting to see what the world will have to offer in a thousand years. You know, I, and since in a thousand years, since the year you know, 1021, we've come very far. I wonder what the world will be like in 3021. <sighs> yeah, this is wild. This, this is a good show, man, because we had, and it's like, no episode is like, the series is kind of all it's together, but it's kind of like each episode is kind of separate as well because we don't we don't really see the direct effects of something that happened in, let's say, episode eight. We don't really see that occur in episode nine. We we didn't see Nixon return. We didn't see, uh, you know, like uh what, what just happened last episode? We didn't see Robot Santa Claus return. Now, we may see that in the future, but it's still a great show because, you know, each episode is separate and has its own theme, its own elements that they want us to see and laugh off of or, you know, just enjoy and to be entertained by. It's no surprise that this show is so many people's favorite show or favorite animated show. Um, now, I will say this, this show is a lot different than, like, uh, Harley Quinn. Because in Harley Quinn, like, every episode ties together, you know, and it's more story-driven. This, not necessarily as much story-driven as it is, you know, just, it's more episodic. And I really, I really like this. I would have liked it either way. But I am thoroughly enjoying Futurama, man. I think that's going to be it for me, though, for Futurama. I had a lot of fun, guys. But that's all for today. You know?
There will be more Futurama on OnlyFans soon, I promise. But until then, stay safe, stay COVID free. <sighs> See you soon, Futurama fans. This show, this show is great. This, I, I love this show. I love this show. <laughs>